all of a sudden the moon's back the way it should be in the sky instead of being a Chester cat it's back straight up and down hmm good morning everyone it is Saturday September 7th 2019 and we got a little bit of rain yesterday A little bit. Get the dog water back over here. I was catching rainwater for them to drink. So yesterday, April, uh, as you saw in the video, if you watched, was working on this area over here. She was wearing the, or excuse me, using the weed whacker and wearing shorts. And, um, got kicked back from a rock and it literally cut both of her shins open so she stopped with the weed whacking uh, machine and started pulling by hand which is what we both discussed and said that's probably the best for this area anyways as well as the garden so um yeah I think she's gonna get back to this area here but I'm not sure. And I'm not sure what this plant is. Um, you see the purple? Let me see if I can get you in there. There's purple leaves down there. I think it's a form of morning glory, which is illegal in Arizona because it is so invasive. Um, when we were doing the bob, opening Bob uh, the box of blessings we came across moonflowers I think they're in the same family but for whatever reason they are not illegal here but the other ones are so I am going to actually get started over there um, because that is the tallest. I'm going to see if I can pull some of it by hand just to get it out and eradicate it completely. If not, I'm going to um, use the weed whacker and get it out that way. But yesterday, what I got done... Oh, my bad. Um, I filled in... I filled in Samantha Ann Cooper's holes over here. What? I filled in their holes over here. And, um, oh, there's one right there. Holy shit. Stop the presses. What? I said, stop the presses. Can't get them on video. Did you Where find is it? another one? Yep, right there. Oh, I see another one too. In the back? Yeah. Time out, guys. Hornworm. Okay, I'm back. Um, April and I have been talking about these tomato plants and they are not doing anything. Uh, there are a few blooms on it, but I'm getting to the point where I agree with her. If they do not start to actually produce fruit, I am going to just yank them out of here. All five of them. Um, I showed you that this one does have some fruit on it, but it's minimal, and we tasted it, and we had three of them that actually, um, ripened the other day, and they were bitter. <laughs> I don't know if we didn't let them ripen long enough, but they look like they were ready, but see, it's got more blooms on it, too. I don't know, man, I just, uh... I know I need to check this side of the plant again because part of that was like that, but not all of it. So I think we have another hornworm over here too. But there's a part of me that just says, get them out of here. Um, they're not producing. And it is just bringing and wreaking havoc on everything. So another beautiful ochre flower. Those are 
beautiful, beautiful flowers. So anyways, um, yeah. And this one, this plant here, April says she believes that it got, um, what'd you call it? Bit by a, was it bit or nipped? I don't know. By a beetle. And this one has not even, um, put off very many flowers. I mean, you get like this right here happening. I don't know if it's a be. I think it's a beetle. Yeah. That does it. It pinches it. Pinches it. That's the word. It pinched it. And see, there's those there. It's like it's not doing anything. So. It, and, and that's not what I was talking about. I was oh. talking about the three tomatoes here. Oh, I thought you were talking about this one. No, because look at the leaf structure. This Hang is on. How let's you see. Tell if they get pinched. Oh. And my gardener says that your tomato plants can get pinched, which basically means bitten by an insect that is carrying a virus. Uh, well, I, it's like I can't see it now. It might have grown out. Huh. But it's like the leaves when they first come in. They look weird. Yeah. The structure is kind of spiny or spiky, like this. Like, spindly. So there's a part of me that wants to wait and give them a chance into fall, just so we can see if our tomato plants are going to do better as a fall-based growth. You know what I mean? Versus a they summer. Can do that. I mean, it's no big deal. It's, it's just, I mean, beautiful. yeah, just growing green. Just growing green providing shade um i worked over here i'm getting back to what we got done yesterday i worked over here uh to weed and i've got to come back over to this corner because i need a claw in order to get some of this out it's really tough um excuse me and then i got this i got this wood attached couple screws up there just because it's not going to be permanent we're going to create a lattice work um, thing I don't know what to call it other than lattice work out of the wood over in that pile for all that so but I got a, a bunch of this cleaned out as you can tell it's no longer full of crabgrass um, but I do need to get out to the alley again and get all of it cut down as much as I can. So that back fence area is all bugleweed. All those yellow flowers are not bugleweed, I'm sorry. What am I trying to say? Cockaburs. Um, the goat head plant. So that's not going to be fun. Along with the morning glories. I got the, um, the heads that were ready to be picked for seed. I left some so that they fall. Um, and I, sorry, something's biting my ear. I actually also um, broke up and put marigold seeds all along the whole perimeter of the garden. So hopefully that will, that'll happen. And um, Lucy the lemon tree is doing good. And this little cluster is doing okay. It's doing good. So, that's about it. I'm going to get back, like I said, to work on weeding. Um, I'm going to start at the back of the house and hopefully get out to the alley today as well. Uh, if I can get that done, I'll be happy. So, that's it. Are you working in that area today? Yeah, why? I'm just asking. And then, um, last night... Last night when I was spraying neem oil, I realized that this Hubbard squash was actually being choked out. So I tried to start pulling it by hand, but I don't know if you people, if you guys know this, uh, crabgrass is actually um, brutal enough to cut your fingers. So be careful if you're just grabbing it by hand. I tore my hand open. The last time that we, uh, or that I came out here and was weeding, 
and um, started to rip my fingers open yesterday, so. All right, enough of that. I'm not trying to gripe. I'm just telling you be careful because you can't cut your hands on crabgrass. All right, enough of that. I will uh, talk to you all later. I'm going to get going on stuff. And mosquitoes are so bad. Yeah, see, I think they're in there. Is that larva? Oh, man. Is that why my legs are getting eaten up so bad? Die, I hope. I gotta get that emptied. I gotta get that emptied because the mosquitoes have been ridiculous lately. My legs are so chewed up that I literally just put calamine lotion from my knees all the way down to my feet yesterday. So, uh, holy cow. Yeah, that's heavy. Alright, all right, good enough. Talk to you guys soon. Oh, man. Until next time, much love. And stay safe wherever you are in the world. Bye for now. for the morning. It's too hot. Can't do that. It's just way too hot. So I'll come back out in the afternoon uh, when the sun's on the other side of the house and uh, hit the rest with a weed whacker. I just wanted to get those really tall grasses out of there. So all right, y'all. See you later. Bye-bye.